Yeah, I like how we came out with our defensive intensity. First half, we had them to 18 points total. Uh, they scored nine points in the first quarter, nine points in the second quarter, and that was great to see um, because in previous uh, couple games, our defense just hasn't been there. I don't think our intensity was where we wanted to be, and so to kind of go into the Thanksgiving break with that in our pockets, uh, it was good. It was a really good feeling. Yeah, we're excited about it. I mean, I think our, the best ball is ahead of us. And uh, the way we finished the game against Highlands defensively and rebounding, I think that's, uh, that's an important piece for us moving forward. Um, offensively, I don't know if we've hit our stride, but we're still you know, scoring pretty easily and uh, scoring around 70 points a game. And that's pretty good. If uh, we clean a couple things up, I think that get up into 75, 80 range. And uh, defense is something that we just need to keep pushing. And uh, when, it, when it's there, I mean, you see it and we rebound really well. And uh, so just putting a full 40 minutes together. Adrian was obviously really great in that game for you guys, carried over. She was really good in the fourth quarter of the previous game, too. Mm -hmm. uh, so what did you see from her performance lately? Yeah, I, I, she is shooting really, really well. Uh, you don't really see that um, this early in the season of people just coming in and just shooting the ball like, like she is. I know she's over 50% from the three-point line. She hasn't missed very many free throws either, if any. Um, and so she was a huge spark. We put her in the starting lineup uh, against New Mexico Highlands, and I think she came out and was uh, played 20 minutes and still hasn't missed many shots uh, from the three-point line. I think she was five for five or six for six for seven. And uh, yeah, it's a, anytime you have that, it opens up everything else offensively. And so uh, she's been great for us, uh, knocking down the open shots and making the defense know where she is. Do you think she came into that game a little extra motivated after missing that, the game time shot the previous game? I think so. I think everyone came in a little bit irritated on how uh, we finished the game against Mines. I know we, we went into that fourth quarter with a 10-point lead, and uh, they outscored us thir 13 points on our home floor, and we have to take that personally, and that has to matter to us. I mean, same thing I asked Coach Brown. I mean, you got a tough road test here. How do you keep a team motivated going for that? Um, I think the motivation comes that we're playing conference. It's that uh, there's just a little bit extra with conference games. You know each other a little bit more. Um, and road wins are hard. And so just to come in and you got to go out there, you got to provide your own energy. Um, I think it's something that you pride yourself on and it reveals the character of your team. And so I think the motivation's there, the excitement's there just because it is conference and you're just starting to get into the area where games start mattering a little bit more and more. And so the excitement should be there. What's your guys' overall assessment of the conference and what kind of challenge is going to be for you guys this year? Yeah, the conference, it's been interesting because a lot of the, the top players returned this year to their teams. Um, so not a lot of teams lost very many key players. But you look at the non-conference, how we did as a whole non-conference, you'd say we're a little down right now. I know Tyler had a couple losses. TWU had a loss. Uh, Kingsville lost some opening ones. Lubbock's have already lost. And so everyone's kind of dropped a few games that you probably wouldn't have expected going into the year. Um, so it kind of makes you just wonder what, what everyone's going to be like and if, can everyone beat everyone at, at any given day, which uh, is usually how it is in the Lone Star. I know the last couple of years, last week of the year, it's kind of decided six different uh, positionings in the conference tournament. And so uh, there's a small margin for error. One bad week can really set you back. Yeah, I think going there is, is one of the biggest challenges. It's one of the longest trips we'll have the entire year. Uh, you have to bus it. There's no great way to get there. Um, and so you get in and you just kind of have slow days on Wednesday and Thursday, and you got to pick yourself up to play Thursday night. Uh, I know that they're going to run a, some, probably some zone at us. They've ran it the last couple games, and we, teams haven't zoned us as much. And so uh, it's just going to make sure that we're prepared for it and we're ready to attack how, how they want to guard us. And then defensively, that should always travel with you, defense and rebounding. And so if our intensity is there, uh, we should like where we're at at the end of the game.